cold cap is back no cap dad hat don't get mad uh -huh. it's just what it is, what it is. yeah we talking sports shot out in graven veins yeah this feels like a dream so youtube <laughs> Team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraving here with another video. And yes, it is official that Anthony Levine, Cold Cap, has re-signed with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, and this news comes like, it came literally right after I had dropped the Sammy Watkins video. That's why this video is coming out a bit later. Because I gave you some time to digest. I didn't want to overload you with videos or anything like that. Even though some people be like, no, 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 keep sending them, keep sending them. But I appreciate y'all either way. And y'all see, I'm still working. I'm still working on the thumbnails, man. I'm still working on the thumbnails. It's a work in progress, but I appreciate y'all bearing with me. I appreciate y'all being patient with it as we get through this entire process together. But I just got to say, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Straight, I, I, I love it. It's a lot of fun. It is a little bit challenging. It ain't nothing over the top crazy, but it's been a fun challenge. So I appreciate it. And last thing before we get into this, make sure you listen to the newest episode of the Team Keep It Clean podcast. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the podcast channel. Um, and it is just that, the Team Keep It Clean podcast. That's, it. That's what it is on YouTube. That's what it is on Spotify, Apple, Google, all that good stuff. So y'all check that out when you can. Anyway, the Ravens brought back one of their own. Now, uh, Jameson Hensley, he put out a tweet. I, I guess you can kind of call it a report. But he said that the Ravens will not be signing any unrestricted free agents until after uh, the deadline to where it does not affect the uh, or impact the compensatory pick formula. So right now they have three comp picks that they're scheduled to get. One for Matt Judon, who I'm very interested to see how he does in New England. Another one for Yannick Ngakwe. Uh, and a third for David Culley becoming the head coach of the Texans. Um, so they don't want to lose any of that. They don't. And now with the David Coley, that one can't be affected. That's theirs because he's the head coach. Nothing can happen with that one. But as far as the other two, if they were to sign a player that counted against the comp compensatory pick formula, that so a player that came from another team who was an unrestricted free agent, then it would make them lose them comp picks. So they brought back one of their own. And Anthony Levine, we know Anthony Levine, he is sort of the Swiss Army knife. For the Baltimore Ravens. He is a two-time Super Bowl champion. Uh, one of those was with the Baltimore Ravens, of course, and the other was with the Green Bay Packers. So he knows what it's like to win. He done been there. He done done that. Um, but he is a core special teamer, and he's a special person uh, to these Baltimore Ravens because there's some players that may be on a team, and if you look at the stat sheet, you may be like, uh, what? Who, for what, why, what's the reason, huh? I don't get it. But for Anthony Levine, it's like, you know those players have a big impact on the team. And in the locker room as well. Whenever you see Anthony Levine, whenever you see a picture of him, whenever you see a video of him, always smiling, it's always dudes, always vibing with him. Everybody loves Anthony Levine. And I know love doesn't translate to the field. But when Anthony Levine is on the field, uh, he's somebody that they can move around in different positions. So, Wink loves him too. And the Ravens players, they love him. The coaching staff loves him. He is one of those guys that their impact is just, a, it's probably even bigger off the field than it is on the field. Now, we know, he, of course, he's a special teamer. Um, so, you know, he's in the goods with Harbaugh because he plays special teams. And, you know, Harbaugh loves him special teamers. Boy. He's like, hey. But, no, he, he's, a, he's a good special teamer. Really good special teamer. Um, and he's one of the leaders on the team because he's definitely one of the veterans on the team. Um, one of the few guys left from the Super Bowl squad. We got Justin Tucker, Jimmy Smith, Sam Cook. Uh, Morgan Cox is gone. Um, so, yeah. Oh, Pernell McPhee. And Pernell McPhee. So, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. That Super Bowl seemed like it was so long ago. Ravens, it's just time to get another one. Let's do it. Uh, but this is a good move because he's somebody that you can bring in on defense too. It gives you some depth on defense as well. He plays the safety position, but sometimes they'll put him at a uh, slot corner. Sometimes they'll put him at linebacker. They'll put him at safety. They can move him around and have him do different things. Now, with them bringing Anthony Levine back, I do not think that it takes away from them needing to still draft the safety. But at the same time, they also brought Geno Stone back. That's one that we can't forget about. Uh, and they literally just drafted him last year. 
So they drafted him last year. They cut him. He went to the Texas, and he was like, "Oh my goodness, this situation is a big yikes." I don't. I, I can't go. How do you go from the Ravens to the Texans and not be scarred? Seriously, he had to be. Geno Stone had to be scarred. He went from the Ravens and saw everything that they are and everything that they can be, and went to the Texans. He was probably like, "Oh my goodness, wow." He had to be scared. Like, this this can't be where my career goes. Oh, no. But so it ended up working out for him in the long run. Um, but I, I still think, depending on what happens with Geno Stone. And, and one thing that I think about, because with Geno Stone, I know a lot of people were very high on Geno Stone. They said he got that ball hawk ability. But it lets you know by the Ravens' actions that they weren't as high on Geno Stone as a lot of people were. Yes, they did draft him, but they cut him, and they let him go to another team. He could have went anywhere, and he, he did. He went to the Texans. Texans claimed him. Uh, so Ravens, they couldn't have been too worried about him. But now he's back, but he only signed for a one-year deal, so I, I can't say that the Ravens, they got so much invested in Geno Stone. So, again, both Geno Stone, the signings of Geno Stone and the signings of Anthony Levine should not and probably will not prevent the Ravens uh, from drafting a safety uh, because the safety position is one where ev everybody except uh, Chuck Clark, but everybody is on a one year deal. Anthony Levine, Geno Stone, Deshaun Elliott. Everybody's on a one year deal. So a lot of people got a lot to prove. They got a lot to prove. And they're not only going to be fighting for their roster spots right here, right now, but they're going to be fighting for their roster spots uh, in the future, too. So depending on how everything shakes out, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but back to Anthony Levine. Um, th this, is a, this is a good signing. Um, it's a signing that gives you some depth. It's a signing that gives you somebody who's familiar with the defense. It gives you somebody who's just familiar with the team as a whole. And I think more so than an on the field signing, this is a morale signing because morale on for the for your team and with your team is just as important as their play on the field because they they go hand in hand. They, they really do. If y'all don't have that vibe, if y'all not clicking like that, if y'all not just vibing with each other like that off the field, not saying that everybody's got to be buddy-buddy and, hey, let's go have some biscuits together. Oh, you want to go eat cereal together? Oh, let's grab a bite. No, you ain't got to do all that. But it should still be good energy off the field because if you got that good energy off the field in a locker room when you're doing stuff away from football, then it'll just make everything on the field that much better. So, again, shout out to Cole Cap for making his return to the Ravens once again. Because I think last year he signed a one-year deal with the Ravens. This year he signs another one-year deal with the Ravens. And you know the, um, the impact on the salary cap is going to be minimal. It's not going to be anything crazy. It's not going to be anything over the top or anything like that. So that's nothing that you'll have to worry about uh, when it comes to the finances. It's not going to be some huge mega move that just takes all the salary. No, it's not. But it's going to be something modest where Anthony Levine, he's taken care of. He gets a decent amount of money. Uh, and Ravens, it gives him another play. It gives him some more depth. Uh, but they still have probably just about the same amount of money as they had before they signed him. Uh, it's not going to be over. Is that, well, it might be around one meal. I think it'll, probably, I think it'll be actually a little bit less. It, it had, the details haven't come out yet. Uh, it's 1.44 p.m. Uh, oh, now it just turned 1.45 p.m. So the details of the deal should be out probably within the next hour, maybe even sooner than that. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Anthony Levine is no longer when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven, I'm out.